I was thinking about making this video all day, you know, all morning I was like, I was in the mood and I was like, I'm gonna go to church. I'm gonna praise the Lord. I'm gonna leave church, go have me something to eat. And I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna put these ring lights on and lights, camera action. And I was in the mood. Everything was going well. I made this video and guess what? It's gone. Let's get into it. So the first item that we have here today is this thrifted fox hat that I got from a uh, Saver's Thrift Store near my house. This is a beautiful hat. It is made by a vintage company, Irene of New York. This adds, it elevates any style. This is giving me straight Diana Carroll, Elizabeth Taylor, Dynasty, all of the above. This is one bad, beautiful hat. Look at that hat. And what happened was the story behind this store is that the Goodwill in my store, it didn't have a, a price on it. They had it in like a spot in the Goodwill where it would have been like $6.99. I'm not sure. They didn't know what, I don't think they knew what to do, what it was. Because sometimes people work in the Goodwill and they just don't know what the hell stuff is. And so in that case, when I got to the register, I was like, okay, so this was over in the Blazers. So I know the Blazers and the Goodwill is $6.99. So the guy at the register was like, well, clearly this is not a blazer. He was like, he knew that this was fur at the register. He was, so he called the manager and explained to the manager that I got this from over in the blazers, but this should have been priced as a, as sort of like a coat. But I just don't think they knew how to price this piece. So the manager was like, you know what? $4.99. I was like, I'll take it. I'll take it for $5.99 or $6.99. Woo, Cheryl. Woo, Cheryl. I was feeling extremely rich when I left out of Google. I was like, I'm rich. Very, very rich. Okay. Coat is rabbit fur on the outside and fox, genuine fox around the trimming, around the collar, and along the bust of this coat. Uh, this coat is 100% pure animal fur. And I paid $29 for this coat. It is simply amazing. This coat is vintage. It does not have a, a tag inside of this coat. And I was happy to have found this coat. This is this is different from any other coat that I have in my collection. And I just think it's simply beautiful. It's amazing. It feels so warm and I just cannot wait to style this coat. Gosh, man, you cannot get this kind of fashion in these, these little fast fashion retail stores. So yeah, that is my Fox, genuine Fox and Rabbit fur coat. The next coat is a faux fur coat, which is my absolute favorite coat that I own. And I own a lot of coats. And for this coat to be my favorite, it is definitely a showstopper. And the most beautiful thing about this coat are the accessories, the details um, here. You can see they have these beautiful gold um, buttons that have brown leather inside of the buttons with the gold trimming and then on the outside of this coat here this coat has a shorter chanel rope chain that goes along the back of the coat that makes this coat just exceptionally beautiful um i just love everything about it it says uh demi's baltimore is who originally made this coat and hopefully my camera will be able to so it's deems baltimore and i don't know if they're a second seller but the original they, it has original tag in this coat and the original tag of this coat says safari sports town and it says safari style by uh sports town in la france and so it says clean by fur coat methods, even though I know for a fact this is not um, real fur. I guess, you know, 
they want you to treat it as as so but i paid i want to say I know it wasn't over $20 for this coat because when I saw this coat, I just, I thought I was dreaming. I was like, you, are you kidding? I actually, and this was also um, copped at one of my Value, Value Village uh, thrift stores locally. And I absolutely love this coat. This is one of my favorite uh, finds. And as you can see, this coat is nothing but the truth. This is a beautiful coat and let me stand back here so you guys can hopefully see the full, full beauty in this, in this coat. And yeah. and yeah, I'm just happy to have it in my collection and I love it. Even if I was wearing something like what I have on today, which is blue and white uh, stripes, I would literally put this coat on with this outfit to um, level it up and give it sort of a glam, glam, you know, street style sort of look to it. But yeah, you can see this coat has this beautiful chain in the back and these beautiful buttons. The next coat that I have, or should I say, it's probably more of a duster or jacket. Um, is another coat that I actually got from the same store that I the same day in the same store that I got this Fox rabbit coat from and it is this beautiful rabbit Little it's like a, a crop jacket And as you can see here, let me just go back a little bit. Sorry guys I'm having a hard time because I have my camera situated somewhere that I don't normally have it. But as you can see, this is a rabbit jacket, crop jacket. It's in mint condition, made by B. Altman and Company, Paris and New York. So I, I take it they have two locations, one in Paris, one in New York is that this is this is really, really pretty. This is a crop, you know, so you could wear, you know. I would just wear it, you know, like this. And yeah, it's simply beautiful. I paid $29 for this. And it is just a great piece to have. You know, this one would look nice with a, a beautiful vintage, you know, simple black dress um, just to elevate it. I mean, you can even wear this piece uh, I would even wear this piece at, on my shoulders. I mean, I would wear any of them on my shoulders, but this one really would look nice and elevated, you know, on your shoulders. So yeah, that is another um, beautiful stole. And it's actually, stock. I can have all this glam for not even, sometimes you pay 10%, not even 10%, it's like 75% off of the retail cost of these items. And I just can't understand why a person would not want to invest their money wisely with purchasing high, high end designer items for a very, very discounted price. I don't feel so bad because when I incorporate these beautiful pieces into my closet and I accessorize with some of my high, you know, cause I believe in spending money on shoes and my purses and I buy, I can pretty much buy clothes. We from have anywhere. another fur and this is a faux fur coat vintage from a very popular um, company that no longer is, uh, exists but it's one of my favorite stores and it's called, the store is Cache. And Cache, I have a lot of thrifted pieces from Cache. If anybody knows fashion, Cache was the fashion powerhouse. It's one simply beautiful coat and I'm just so glad that I own it. Like I said, I paid under $20 for it. It's a brand that has been around for a long time, Cache, which no longer exists. But the good thing is there is a lot, a lot of wonderful pieces in the uh, thrift store, uh, thrift stores for the brand Cache. And I mean, 
you pay twelve, thirteen dollars, cachet prices were were up there, and their clothes were. You knew when someone had on cachet when they when they walked in the room because it was just like the clothes were so theatrical and beautiful. But yeah, you just don't find that now in the fashion industry. Um, thrift stores is, is about to take over the world, and I hope they do. But uh, I need to get all my stuff now before everybody else get theirs. Okay, okay. Yeah, so sorry about this cord, everyone. This is my mic, which is, you know, I gotta have a mic so you guys can hear me and won't complain. So yeah, so as we come to, that was the last piece of